favorite seasons of the year, not only because I receive gifts, but also because I get to spend time with family. Who knew that you can make Christmas part of your everyday job? But instead of wrapping Christmas gifts, I wrap surgical instruments. It is very important to make sure you wrap the instruments properly so they can be sterilized by the autoclave. An autoclave is kind of like a big pressure cooker. It steams on the inside and kills all the pathogens, like bugs, on the, that could be on the tools from the previous procedure. This process is very important because we use a lot of the same instruments for many of the procedures that we perform. Within the medical office, and this is ensures the prevent of cross-contamination because you don't want to use a gross bloody knife that you used on the last patient on the next patient. So first off, we'll gather all the tools that we need um, to properly wrap the instruments. So first we'll need the autoclave paper and then um, a sealed pouch. This is kind of like autoclave paper. You just put one instrument in there and then it'll clean it. If you have multiple, then you use the paper. Um, this autoclave tape, this tape is just like normal tape as you can see, but when it is done, it'll turn like a brownish black color and then you know that it's been sterilized correctly. Um, the tools to be sterilized, it can be anything. Um, I'm using scissors, a, yeah, and a pen. Okay, and you'll need your sterilized indicator tape, or strip. This goes on the inside of your package, and then this will turn like a dark brown color also. And then you know once you open it that it's been sterilized. Um, gauze cotton balls, and then a pen, so you can write on your um, little indicator strip the date and your initials so they know who um, are these instruments. Okay, now that we have all the supplies gathered, we will put this paper into a diamond shape with a corner facing you, it doesn't matter which corner. And then you'll just place your tools inside so the pen will go there. Um, these tweezers you'll put a in between here so they don't close like that kind of. And then these you do the same thing but you want to make sure you put it down here so it won't close and then you put gauze over the top so then it won't uh, break the autoclave paper. And then you have your indicator strip that you write today's date on and then your initials and then you put that in there too so then once they open it then they know that it has been sterilized okay and then you simply just wrap it like you wrap a gift you go up like a diamond and then up again then over like a diamond then over again and then over and over and then now once you're like to this point you just roll until you have this one piece that comes over and you take a piece of tape and you put it on there and then you do the date your initials and what it and then you put what is inside and then for this one all you really do is there's like an opening right here and you put whatever you want to sterilize in there and then you peel this tape off and pull it down and then it's ready to autoclave Now that you know and understand what autoclave wrapping is and what it's used for, you know how to wrap your instruments correctly. For sterilization, wrapping instruments is not that hard and is something that you could all do on your everyday lives. This is something most of you do already and it's just like wrapping a present for Christmas, but instead it's instruments for all.